All right, everybody. We're back. We're back in Alice Springs. How fucking depressing. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. Apologies for the hair, I'm going to sort that out right now. Um, Reppin' Jim Stees, uh, back from the Arnold Classic, back from Melbourne. This video is going to basically just address how I felt about the whole experience, the Arnold Classic, um, how my week went down in Melbourne, and I also got a body fat percentage test while I was down there. This is my fourth one, fourth DEXA scan. That's how I choose to get my body fat tested because I believe that's one of the most accurate ways um, as, far as, as far as calipers and things like that go. Not for me, um, too variable, person to person. So I choose to go with a DEXA scan. Now, what they're used for is actually to measure bone density um, predominantly. That's why they were designed. But what they also do is measure in the exact gram to the exact gram, how much bone mass you have, how much lean tissue you have, which is including muscle, tendons, organs, things like that, and uh, what your body fat mass is. So uh, I'll get into those results in a little bit, but first of all, I'm actually going to um, grab a, a wee smoke that I started earlier, and I'm gonna finish it with you guys, and you know, have a chat about things. Open up the window a bit. All right. So, um, yeah, the Arnold Classic. Uh, was it all that I expected and more? Um, yes, I would say yes. But was I expecting something to blow me away? Not really, guys. Not really. Um, I feel like, I feel like, you know, the what I, <laughs> what I told myself I was really interested in seeing was. The fitness celebrities, the guys who I'd seen on YouTube, on Instagram for years and years. I, I told myself, you know, they were my idols um, for years and taught me everything I know as far as in the gym and dieting and things. I think maybe two or three years ago, I would have, you know, been a little bit more of a fanboy sort of thing. But now, I don't feel like that to be honest. I feel like, you know, I'm on an even playing field with these guys. I'm an adult, I'm 26, I'm not a little kid. You know, you've got, you've got guys as young as 13, 15, 16, 18, looking up to these guys. I don't look up to them anymore, you know. The only ones I do look up to is because they're natural, a natural bodybuilder, um, which there wasn't many there, obviously. Uh, as well as, you know, if they combine their fitness lifestyle with travel with good uh, you know motivating talks and and they have good morals and principles and things like that those are the guys that I follow as far as aesthetic as far as looking good on camera um, being able to you know fucking bench press a lot of weight it's it's really not impressive but with that being said I did actually really enjoy the strongman competition I got to see Brian Shaw in person unfortunately he didn't go for a world record this time um, I think he's just pulled the deadlift world record for 1,057 pounds, which is near, you know, 480 kilo, I think. So at the Arnold Classic, he pulled 440, I think, and that's because everyone else um, failed on it um, and either stopped at 380, 400, or 420. And then he was the only one left to hit 440, and he did, nice and slow. I'm sure he could have gone a little bit, uh, higher, but he, you know, didn't want to risk it. So I think the Arnold Classic is a cert, is a round of strongman in the World Series, and obviously Brian Shaw won the deadlift. I don't know about the other events, but that was really cool to see. I, I saw him in person lift that, so we watched that.
I saw a few bikini competitions. Um, I went to see the amateur bodybuilding show, which was cool. I didn't actually spend too much time in there because we had to leave to go watch the Strongman, but that was cool to see. Um, a huge amount of talent. Um, and the pro show, which I was really looking forward to seeing, and I, I didn't actually end up getting there, which really sucks um, because <laughs> drinking and partying came <laughs> came first. Uh, and the Sunday, the, so the Friday we, we had a good time. I took the pictures. The, the Saturday was the amateur show and the strongman. I didn't really stay too much longer after that. And then on Saturday night, I went out drinking and had a good night out in Melbourne. So um, Sunday was a bit of a fucking, <laughs> a bit of a shocker as far as the hangover goes, but uh, yeah, it was good. It was a good time. I wasn't overwhelmed. You know, would I go back? Yes, I'd go back if I lived in Melbourne. Would I travel to Melbourne to fucking stay in a hotel and have all those expenses just to go to the Arnold Classic? No, I wouldn't. Um, you know, if I, if I really want to go to another expo or a, or a sports festival, I think I'm going to go to America and see, you know, an LA Fit Expo or a fucking Mr. Olympia Expo or something like that. Um, that would be the next fitness expo I, I go to, I think, because I think I've done my dash here in Australia for that, with that one. So... With that being said, you know, I did see, I saw fucking Friesma, I saw Dexter Jackson, I saw Jerry Ward, I saw Rich Piana there, I saw all these guys who I, I really enjoy watching on YouTube. I did see them and I saw them in person and I had a, a little chat to most of them and it was really cool. So, you know, don't, don't get me, don't get me wrong, I really did enjoy myself, but, you know, it's... Uh, it's 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 the fitness industry. I've been fucking I've been watching this shit. I've been involved in it for years. You know, five six years now. Um, so there's nothing new, basically. So, anyways, with that being said, that was the Arnold Classic. For the rest of the time in Melbourne, I just hung out with a few different friends and went shopping. Had breakfast with a friend. Um, I just enjoyed my time. I had some of this while I was down there so you know yeah it was a pretty chilled vibe the whole weekend and I had a great time with that being said I didn't train fuck I, I, I can't remember the last time I had a whole week off training except for when I went to Bali I think um, so that happened and you know I, I don't give a shit I told myself at the start if I feel like training I'll train if I don't I won't and I hit an arm session the only the only session I actually did was at Doherty's Gym Brunswick on the Friday after the Arnold Classic. Me and Achilles hit an arm session and you're gonna see a picture from that right now. Um, fucking awesome gym, the absolute mecca of bodybuilding in Australia I have to say and I really enjoy myself there. Me and Achilles had a great workout and um, yeah but that was it for training so today is uh, what is today? Tuesday. Today's Tuesday not Monday um, so that was Friday I went on Wednesday didn't train Wednesday didn't train Thursday trained Friday didn't train Saturday not Sunday not Monday and then I got back today on Tuesday and I've hit a back session tonight so we're back on the gains we're back on the gain train we're feeling good and uh, things are going alright so you know good weekend away Airbnb I got a I got an apartment uh, with Airbnb and you know I was a bit skeptical as to how it would go but turns out it was really good um, and there was a <laughs> it's funny I went through this whole big debacle trying to get this pool and gym access because I couldn't get it at the start they had to make you watch some induction and fucking pass a test to get access to this gym so I did all that and then I ended up not even using it once so that was kind of stupid wasn't it but anyways doesn't matter What do you reckon? Making some back gains, lats. Uh, with that being said, looking at my physique, what would you, what would you, what body fat percentage would you say I am, guys? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? 13, 15, 18. Well, on the next video, I'll tell you guys exactly what my body fat percentage is because I got it tested. Like I said, um, this video has gone far too long. <clears throat> Ten minutes is is enough of me rambling. I'm going to sit here and smoke this. Have a nice relaxing night. Catch up some, 
catch up on some sleep because I am fucking tired and you can definitely see it. Um, yeah, the whole week in Melbourne was just filled with shit. I didn't even have time to train, to be honest. I wanted to, but I, I slept in every day and had stuff at like 9 or 10 in the morning most days. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, once again, wrapping Jim Steves. Always, always happy to wear this shit. Um, I saw the man Friesma in person. I saw Jay in person. Saw all the crew. Um, so that was pretty sweet. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a good night. Get some sleep. I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. I got it's some pretty awesome results. You know, DEXA scans are, are a really wicked tool. They're fucking awesome. I recommend them to anyone who wants to track their body fat, um, track their gains, muscle gains. You know, it gives you a lean body mass uh, number as well, so you can track you know your muscle mass as far as your, as well as your uh, your fat mass. So um, we'll get into that tomorrow. And I'll also talk about you know the plans for the future because this weekend down in down in Melbourne was going to be uh, the final weekend of bulking, the final week of bulking. So depending on what the result was in the body fat percentage test was going to determine whether I was going to continue bulking or, or start cutting. So now I'm confused. I'm confused what I should do because I'm not. I'm probably not as fat as what I thought I was. Um, and that's probably down to the fact that my appetite's been shit the last two months and I haven't been smashing as much food as I did in the first few months of this. But I have made some muscle gains and that is the main thing, man. That is what we want and that's what I've done. So I'll run through all the results tomorrow. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry again, I didn't vlog much of the Arnold. I just, you know, if you know, you know. I just, I just wasn't feeling it, wasn't feeling it, and my camera's fucking massive, but with that being said, have a good night, I'll see you tomorrow, peace.